Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. Look, are you familiar with the concept of blunder years? Look, you're looking back on maybe your time in middle school or high school. Maybe you're there now and you'll, you're in the thick of it and that's okay. And you'll look back on it later. It's, it's okay if you're there now, just enjoy it for what it is. Just try to get through it, you'll be okay. But in a few years, maybe you'll look back and you'll say, what was I thinking? What, what you were thinking is you were just trying to get through it. You just had to get on to the next stage of your life. That's all that happened. And you do have to just get on to the next stage of your life. You were, you were born and then you started growing up and eventually you become an adult. But there's this weird adjustment period when you have to figure out like who you are as a person and there's a lot of calibration as a person that has to take place and I feel like sometimes uh, that's what happens uh, as an artist too and the I'm doing two paintings here uh, and I feel like maybe these are a little bit blunderous as paintings but I want to show them to you regardless I'm not I'm particularly happy with either of these paintings, but I want to show them too because this YouTube channel, like I've said before, it's just kind of a log of my artistic journey uh, that I'm going through right now. And so I want to show you like, you know, the good and the bad uh, from my perspective. And, uh, you know, it's all just stepping stones. You just got to hop from one to the next and some are better than others. And just because you're experimenting, it doesn't mean that each experiment has to be successful. It doesn't. In fact, you learn, you might actually learn more from the unsuccessful experiments, you know? What, you might see what you don't want to do in the future. I think so. I think that could be true in a lot of things. Whether you're, you know, you look back and you see, you know, your yearbook pictures from last year, and you're like, wow, I really should not have worn that shirt and did my hair that way. Or, wow, I shouldn't have you know, squished together those paints that way. That doesn't really, I don't, I don't like the way that looks. I don't like the way that turned out. I'm going to try it different next time on the next canvas. It applies to a lot of things. There, there's a quote I have on the bottom of my website from a book I really like. The book is called Art and Fear. has some subtitle I don't remember, but the quote goes, For you, the seed for your next artwork lies embedded in the imperfections of your current piece. And I like that a lot. That keeps me going a lot of times, because half the time I draw, it, it may not seem like it, but half the time I make anything, I'm kind of fueled by frustration, believe it or not. I'm like frustrated by something that's happening in my life, some weird little thing that maybe I shouldn't be frustrated by, but I am frustrated by things, and I kind of vent it and funnel it into my art. And hopefully, I think, I think that's a pretty healthy way to vent. You know, I'm not punching holes in walls or anything, or holes in people, or anything I'm, I, I like. I think it's a pretty good way to vent. Or sometimes I'm just frustrated about the way my last piece of art turned out or something like that. And so at first I'm frustrated, but then before I know it, I sit there and I'm legitimately enjoying myself sitting there creating something. Even if at the end of the day, at the end of the piece, I'm, don't, I, don't, I might not completely um, be thrilled about how it turned out. Um, it's okay. And sometimes... Uh, it's surprising. Other people seem to be more excited about how things turn out than I am. And then other times when I am really excited about how some of my pieces turn out, other people seem less thrilled about how they turn out than I do. It seems like it flip-flops. Like, I don't like it, other people really like it, or I really like it, and other people don't like it as much. So it just goes to show you can't really... you got to figure out where your motivations and... Where, the, where your motivations lie. Is it, are you doing art for you? Are you doing art for other people? Is it just because you like it? If you don't know why you're doing it, you can get disappointed really quick, I think. Anyways, get out there. Don't be afraid to blunder about a little bit. No matter what you're doing, you won't. I don't think you'll get hurt too bad. It'll be fine. All right. This, this, hopefully this video wasn't too dizzying to watch with two things at once. Anyways, goodbye everybody. Goodbye.